Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video is so exciting because it is my annual awesome decor haul. So if you are new to my channel, you probably won't know, but I do this every single year and it's basically a collective haul of all of my autumn items. Some of them new and a lot of them are actually quite old. So we are gonna try and get through all of my autumn stuff. There is a lot to get through. I'm gonna start with the stuff that I have collected over the years and then move on to the newer items. But I have a lot of stuff. I did not realize how much autumn decor I actually have. So I really hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, don't forget to give it a like. Also subscribe if you're new. We would love to have you stick around. This is my favorite ultimate favorite time of the year. As soon as it hits September the 1st, in my book, it is autumn. There is no debate in it. No one can tell me otherwise. I just love being cozy and just having really cozy burr months. So if you are like me and like all of us that are here, then you will love it here. You need to stick around and we would love to have you. So let's get on with this video. I really hope you enjoy. So the first item I'm gonna start with are my tea towels. I love these tea towels. There is a hair on there though. I think I got these last year and they are absolutely gorgeous. They are my favourite tea towels I've ever found that are autumnal. I feel like it gives off real American vibes and you don't really tend to get that in this country. We are so behind when it comes to autumn decor. I feel like America just do it so good. But this is the closest I could find to American farmhouse -y style tea towels. I just love them. So yeah, I got these from HomeSense last year. Hopefully they have them in again this year, but it's just got a pumpkin and it's got some like really nice, pretty autumn leaves and flowers in like the burnt orange colors, which I love. Um, and both of the tea towels are actually the same. So sometimes you get a tea towel that's like printed like this and then you get like a plain one, but both of them are actually printed, which I love. And I can't wait to just hang them over the oven. Now, anyone that has been here for years will remember my autumn wreath. It's still going strong. I've had this for about three years and I got it off of eBay. It was really inexpensive as well. There are literally my hairs on absolutely everything. Um, but yeah, it was really inexpensive, but I love the colors of this. They are artificial, obviously. It's like plastic pumpkins and like the little artificial leaves but this is so pretty i love the berries i just love the colors and as i said it's lasted me so long considering i think this cost me like 15 pounds you just can't get any more autumnal than this i will try and see if they still sell these and if they do i'll leave everything linked down below next we have my trusty next ramekins these are pumpkin shapes and i got these either last year or the year before they do sell them again this year in next so i'll link them down below but these are so beautiful i don't know if maybe they've tweaked them a little bit but these are just so pretty you get the white speckled one and then you've also got the brown speckled one these are just so pretty. I don't know if I've just said that like three times, but <laughs> I can't emphasize enough how much I love these. They have the gold um, stalks and they're just uh, ceramic. Now I don't normally tend to bake in these. I probably could, but I like to use them for decoration in the kitchen. They just look really nice on display. But if I do any like little baking, like autumn baking, I might do it in these. I think I say that every year though, but they just end up being on display but how cute are these? Next thing I have are actually an essential for autumn and they are so basic and inexpensive, but really add like that autumn touch to your home. And they're just some plain white plastic pumpkins. I absolutely love these. If I have like a space, that I think that I want to add a little bit of autumn to. These are perfect. They don't actually require a lot of effort to look nice because they're just plain white pumpkins with green stalks. But I've had these for years and I think I got them either off of Amazon or eBay. And I think I got them when we first moved into our old house. I've had them for so long and they are just so great for autumn. Now guys, I have a lot of pumpkins, like themed things, as you can tell already, but there are more. So the next thing I have is my soup bowl, which is again, a pumpkin. It's a speckled pumpkin with a gold lid and it's just a soup bowl from Matalan. Now, I absolutely love this. I love having soup this time of the year. For anyone that watches my vlogs, you'll know that I'm obsessed with my Morphe Richards compact soup maker. It is the best and I'm constantly making different soups in there. And I always have like a little pumpkin soup in this. I think it's so cute. 
I think this was like £10 last year from Matalan. Such a bargain. If they have them in again this year, you definitely need to get them because it's just so beautiful. I then have this little pumpkin decoration, which is just like this sparkly one. I don't really know if this is my vibe anymore, but I still really, really love it. I think it's so pretty and sparkly. And this was from HomeSense. Can't remember when. I think it was either like a couple of years ago, maybe. Or maybe last year. I actually can't remember what I bought last year. But I really do think that this is pretty and I really want to find somewhere for this. Maybe in like the bathroom. I think that might look nice. But it's so sparkly, so pretty, so like magical. It's just great. I love this. I then got this light up pumpkin, which is from HomeSense as well. Again, I've had this for years. I think I got it like two years ago. I was on the hunt for a light up pumpkin because I couldn't find one anywhere the year that I moved into my house but I found one a couple of years ago and I've loved it ever since. So it's got like this twisty stalk. I don't know if there's any batteries in here. Oh, there is batteries, but I don't know if you can see it's quite dim because I need to change them. But I just feel like pumpkin ornaments are such good decor pieces for your home. Make it feel a little bit more autumnal. And I love this glass one, it's so nice. I then have another pumpkin ornament, which is a glass pumpkin jar which i got from home sense again a couple of years ago i really really love this and i filled it with pine cones i use this every single year i've put pine cones in there some lights um i don't actually have any batteries in there at the moment though but i will put some in when i decorate for autumn which there will be a video on by the way but last year i had this in the kitchen on the windowsill but obviously this year we have moved house i've got so much more like space to fill. So it'll be interesting to see where I put everything this year. I have no idea at the moment, but I really love these pumpkin glass jars. They are so stunning. You can fill them with anything, but as I said, I like mine with pine cones. I think it just looks super autumnal and especially at night when I put the lights on, it looks so pretty. So again, if they have these in home sense this year, I think a lot of places do sell these now but I love mine. I then have this really cute little coaster that my best friend Sophie got me for, was it my birthday last year? I think it was my birthday and it is so pretty. I love this so much. It's one of my favorite autumn coasters and I think she got this off of Etsy. I'm gonna see if I can get the link from her um, in case you're interested, but how cute is this? I also do have another one somewhere that has autumn leaves on it, which again is so nice, but I, I love them so much. She knows me so well. That was such a good birthday present. Oh my God, guys, who remembers? the autumn leaf lights from last year, or was it the year before? I can't remember. I love these so much. I still love them as much as I did when I first bought them. These were off of Amazon and such a bargain. They're really long as well. And this year I have a staircase that I actually use because obviously in the last house we were in a coach house. So it wasn't very often that we had to go up and down the stairs. Whereas in this house, it's two floors. So I can put this around the banister or I was thinking maybe in the living room on the TV unit, which is what I did last year. But we'll see. These are so pretty, especially when they're turned on. I can't express to you how much I love these. This is just something if you love autumn, you need to have in your home. They are just perfect. Moving on to candles, wax melts, all of that kind of stuff. These are actually new this year and they are pumpkin wax melts from the range. Now Callum actually surprised me with these. He went into the range the other day, which you will have seen in my last vlog or like maybe a couple of vlogs ago. And they actually smell unreal and they look so pretty and cute. I love anything just pumpkin if you can't tell already. I feel like pumpkin is just the symbol of autumn but yeah this was from this year so if you are looking for any pumpkin wax melts then definitely look in the range because they are so nice and they smell really nice too and then he also picked me up this from the range which is a pine cone candle what the hell i absolutely love this i'd been eyeing this up for a while and i just never picked it up and then when he surprised me with it, I was like, oh my God, I love it. And this is the color I wanted as well, because I think they had a cream one too. But I always think that browns, burnt oranges, they just symbolize autumn. Like it's just so nice. So I'm really, really happy with this too. And again, this is from this year. Then another candle that I picked up from the range this year is this one that says pumpkin season. It is so nice. 
and it honestly just smells like autumn i think it's pumpkin i have no idea it's probably pumpkin scented but the lid is also really cute too because you've got pumpkins and um acorns and autumn leaves and it's just so nice and this was only 4 dollars which I thought was a really good price. So if you're looking for a more affordable candle this autumn, definitely have a look at this one. All of my OG subscribers will also know which candle I have to pick up every year for autumn. It's Honey Pumpkin. It's currently burning there, but it is quite an old one, this one now, because I got it a few months ago and I started burning it literally in like June. I'm not joking. And so because I'd burnt so much of it, I had to get another one this is my ultimate favorite autumn candle if you haven't smelt it from home scents you need to if you like honey you like pumpkin you like all of the sweetness and like the creamy scents this is for you you will love this oh my goodness it just brings back just autumn memories every time i smell this candle i just think of like really good autumn times and i've mentioned before this candle really reminds me of like the stage in my life where I was living at my mum's house and sort of trying to manifest moving out and getting my own house and then eventually I did and I got this candle when I moved into my new house which was the old house and it just brings back great memories and it's just such a nice candle so sweet smelling if you don't like sweet candles you probably won't like this one but if you do check it out it's lush and then I also picked up this year from Asda a pumpkin candle, which is in warm pumpkin pie. Again, that reminds me of like America. I have actually been to America in like October a few years ago. I think I was like, I say a few, it was way more than a few. I forget how old I am. It was probably like 10 years ago now, but we went to Disney World for Halloween and it was so good. But yeah, this just reminds me of America. It smells incredible. So I think this is the large one. Um, it doesn't actually say, I think they had two sizes on the website because I ordered it online. Um, and it was only eight pounds, which I thought was so good because I can reuse this. I love to reuse my jars. I do actually have quite a few candles that were in pumpkin jars, but I love the white speckled and the beige stalk i just think it's really pretty and i thought for the price it was really good and the scent is just amazing another thing that i've had for a few years now is my throw my autumn throw i always get so many questions about this when i use it and it's because it's so pretty it's this beige colored throw and it's got orange pumpkins it's got green pumpkins it's got like different colored leaves on there it's so soft and it's so big as well i always have this usually on the sofa in the living room but this is an absolute bargain it was from home sense i don't know if i just mentioned that um and it was like 12 pound when i bought it i just think you can't go wrong with the home sense throws they are to die for some of them are just incredible and sort of again go along like the american vibe but i'm so happy that i managed to get this a few years ago because it's lasted me so long obviously i don't use it all year round it just comes out with autumn so it's still in really good nick i've never said in good nick i don't know why i've just said that <laughs> But yeah, I absolutely love this throw and it's so soft and I can't wait to wrap up on the sofa in this on those cold evenings with my hot chocolate, watching a Halloween or autumn film like or Gilmore Girls. Just can't wait for those evenings with my little fire lit. I'm so excited. And then I also picked up another throw this year, which was from, I think it was from the range. Yeah, it was, it's from the range and i thought that this would look really nice on the bed and it's just again a throw that has loads of autumn leaves over it and i thought this was so sweet and guess how much this was i think it was like 5.99 which is really really good it's not as thick as my other throw but it is really nice just to have on the bed as like an extra layer i feel like i've got hair on my chin but i thought for five pounds you honestly can't go wrong it's actually rather big as well see 
<laughs> um, but I really like this. So soft. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy that I managed to get my hands on these this year. So the range, they actually brought out like these autumn doorstops in like June. And I picked them up at the end of June. And I have not seen them since in store. I don't know if they sold out. They probably did. I feel like everyone was after them. But I got in there quickly and I picked them both up. So, well, they actually had three colours. They had the orange, which is one that I picked up, which looks like this. I love, like, the stalk. It's so rustic. It's farmhousey. I just love it. I don't think I will use these as doorstops. I think it'll be more like decoration. But I absolutely love this one. And then I also got the cream one or the beige, whichever you want to call it again so pretty and then i think they also did have like a gray color but i don't really have a lot of gray in my home so i went for these two i feel like at autumn i love having a little bit of neutral but i love having a pop of color i love having the burnt oranges i love having reds i love all of that stuff i just feel like you need a little bit of color at autumn just reminds me of like being outside i then also got from the range this year the hay pumpkin cushion how cute is this i love the borg fabric i love the orange i love that it says hay pumpkin on there i feel like i love anything that says hay pumpkin like that's just a typical awesome saying hey pumpkin i just i don't know i just love it i really really love this and i think it was like 8.99 this year if they still have them then definitely head down. The range actually had so much autumn decor this year. I was so impressed with it. I feel like it's their biggest range that they've ever done. And I think the shops are catching on to the fact here in the UK that everyone loves fall, which is obviously autumn in the UK. But I feel like the range have called it the fall collection. So are they catching on to the fact that we want them to go as big as America? Because... They need to, they need to. And for the Halloween girls as well. We need all of that stuff. But yeah, love this cushion. And then I also picked up the Leaves of Fallen Autumn is Calling cushion from the range as well this year. Again, I think this was like eight pounds. It's so pretty. I love the colors. I love, I just love everything about this cushion. It's very pretty and I can't wait to style it up and pop it somewhere in the house. I need to figure out where I want everything. I did also pick up a cushion last year from the range, which is this one that says autumn wishes and cozy kisses. I have to read that backwards then in the, in the viewfinder. I feel like the range do some really, really affordable autumn cushions and they're always really cute as well. Like bang on with the theme. It's so good. And I had this on the bed last year, which I think I'll probably do again this year. But it's so pretty. One thing that I have never, ever bought, and every year I tell myself that I want to buy one for autumn, is a doormat. I never get an autumn doormat. And this year, I thought, I'm going to do that. I'm going to tick that off of my list. So, I got this one from Matalan. Hello pumpkin. Of course, I need something that says hello pumpkin. And I'm going to pop this inside, um, like the hallway when people first come in. I don't think I'll pop it outside just in case someone nicks it because I feel like these are going to sell out if they haven't sold out already. So I'm just going to pop it inside. But this was eight pounds. And I thought that was an absolute bargain because if you look online at some of like the American themed doormats, they're so expensive. But eight pounds, it was coming home with me. It was. The more pumpkin things that I picked up this year were from B&M. So I love these knitted pumpkins. They're so pretty. They were three pound each from B&M. And I think I only picked these up a couple of weeks ago. So if you do want to have a look for them, hopefully they'll still have them in. But how pretty are these? I thought that these are just stunning. And I love the orange leaf. I love the sticks at the top. I love that it's knitted and beige. And they're just really, really stunning. And I thought for three pound each, that's an absolute bargain. And I could not leave them behind because I knew that if I didn't pick them up, I'd never see them again. So I had to get them. And then I also got a couple of others from B&M. So the first one is this uh, white speckled one with the gold stalk. I have a theme, don't I? Like white speckled pumpkins, gold stalks. They just call my name but i really love this one and then i got this one as well which is just a plain white little pumpkin with a gold stalk i thought these would look really pretty in this room because there's a little bit of a theme in here i like gold and i like pink in this room so i thought that these would be perfect for in here this one was two pounds 
and this one I think was three, which again, absolute bargain. B&M, I've never actually seen them do this nice of pumpkins before, so I was really impressed. I then actually got something from Timu, and I only started ordering while well, working with Timu from this year, and I saw this, and they had loads of awesome stuff on their website, and I feel like they've got even more now since I received this, but look how cute this sign is. Oh my goodness, this is farmhouse. This is American farmhouse, super autumnal. It's just, as soon as I look at it, I feel cozy, like I feel autumnal. Um, and it just says, the old fall market, hay rides, corn maze, bonfires, apple cider, pumpkins this way. <gasps> How cute is this? I'm gonna put this in the kitchen. I feel like it's so stunning. And it was really, really inexpensive as well. It's something so basic, but so beautiful. And then I also have another little autumn wreath from Timu, which I'm gonna stick on the door outside, I think. This is so pretty. I love the colors in it. I love the little white and green pumpkins. I think that they're so cute. Again, this is artificial, so it's gonna be fine in the rain if it does rain which in the UK it does tend to do. Although we are meant to have a heat wave soon, which I'm not happy about. I'm really not happy about it. 1st of September, I expect rain. I expect crisp autumn mornings. I expect crunchy brown leaves. I'm not happy about a heat wave, but I am happy about this wreath. So this is gonna go on my door. So that is the end of my annual autumn haul, guys. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Also subscribe if you're new. As I said at the start of the video, this is my favorite time of the year and I have so many exciting, autumnal, cozy videos coming up. And then we go to Christmas as well. We have such an exciting few months ahead and I really can't wait to spend that with you. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you wanna stick around. And also for everyone that's already subscribed to me, if you do wanna keep up to date with my videos and you're not getting my notifications, make sure that your notification bell for me is turned on and also that your um, notifications are allowed for YouTube as well because some of you have them turned on but you don't get the notifications and that might be why. And then you can keep up to date with all of my videos. So I really hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so much. Have an amazing rest of your weekend. Don't know when this is going up. So have an amazing rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye.